Hello everybody and welcome to this OWASP Top 10 training series in which we're going to learn how to exploit OWASP Top 10 security vulnerabilities using Zapproxy and Burp Suite. So in this video we're going to start by downloading, installing, configuring Zapproxy. So as you can see here, we are on the downloads page of the Zapproxy project on GitHub. And if you scroll down, you can see that we have a lot of uh, packages for Zap. So you can choose whatever the one that suits you. I'm going to use Mac OS. So it's just going to download our DMG file. All right, sounds good. Our DMG has been downloaded. Let's open it and install it. All right, so here I just need to continue the installation process. In Windows, it's a little bit different. You have to uh, follow the next, next, next steps. So this is just a usual warning that we get when you download a file from the internet. Just uh, go ahead and accept the risk and open the file. So when we accept, uh, we launch the WASP uh, Zap proxy. It's uh, currently in its version 2.8.0. So this is the main screen, the welcome screen. Uh, for now, we're not going to persist our session and then just start. So here you can see that we have a bunch of panels which we are going to revisit when we start working on our OWASP.10 vulnerability exploitations. But for now, we're going to uh, configure OWASP Zap to work with our web browser. So let's go to the settings page here and we're going to export a new uh, certificate for our web browser. And then we are going to configure our local proxy. So in the local proxies menu, you can verify that you have the address local host. This is where Zap proxy will listen. And this is the port that we're going to listen on. So because this port 8080 will be the default port for WebGoat, which is the web application we are going to exploit. Um, it's better to just change this one. So I'm going to change it to my port and hit OK. So let's go to our web browser and continue the configuration from there. Okay, so the first thing I mentioned in the blog post, which should pop up in the top screen if you want to follow along uh, using the blog post. I mentioned that uh, it's better to use uh, the Foxy Proxy add-on, which you can find easily. So here is the add-on. You simply just click on this button which says install and it should download it and install it for you then you would have a new icon like this. So we are going to create a new proxy for us. So let's go to options. You notice that I already have burp uh, added because I usually use burp in my testings. So just hit add. And we're going to give it that proxy as the name. 
So make sure that your proxy IP address is set to uh, localhost and that the port number is matching the one that you set in uh, Zap Proxy, which is in this case 8088, and hit save. So because I have two web proxies here, I will change the color for Zap Proxy. So just go to edit and change it to like blue. Okay, so now if you click on this add-on, you see that we have the new web proxy here. The next step is to uh, configure the certificate that we've just downloaded from uh, Zap Proxy. This is because in most of the testings, you need to uh, work with HTTPS websites. So it's just good to have a certificate installed. So let's go to the preferences and let's type certificates. view certificates and let's import the one that we have just downloaded here it is make sure to check the two boxes and hit OK OK so now everything should be good to go all we have to do now is open a new tab and let's say we want to test our website so just change this to zap proxy and then let's uh, visit a web page so what you can see here is an indication that zap proxy has worked so this is the HUD uh, I don't know what stands for, but it allows you to uh, not go back and forth between the two uh, when windows, the, your web browser and Zap Proxy. But I prefer to just disable it for now. So let's go here. We go to Options and then go to HUD and you can disable this option okay. now if you just refresh the page you don't see the HUD anymore but we are able to see all the HTTP traffic that's going on here which is a uh, a good indication that everything works as expected. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment and subscribe to the channel and let's see you in the next video. Stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.